Hi guys, so I am here to do another unboxing for you guys. Um, this one is called Manga Spice Cafe, if you can see that. Um, I got this for my birthday gift. So, my aunt and my mom got this for me, and my grandma. They all pitched in to get me this box for my birthday. And it's late because my birthday was last month, but I, I told them that would be fine. So here's what it looks on the inside when you first open it. Um, there was a note, but that's a personal note, so I took it out. Okay, that's a spoiler. Again, I think that's a spoiler. So, I'm going to show you one item at a time. It's called, this is a snack that looks like, could be chips. It says corn soup with pepper. It looks like it might be spicy, but I don't know. All I can read on this one is chocolate chip, but it looks yummy. I haven't had any of these yet. Okay, in the packaging, these feel like they are gummies, but it doesn't say, I can't read any of this packaging. So there's that. Then I got another one that says chocolate pie since 1974 with marshmallow filling. So I got that. I got this, what looks like a cookie-like thing. It feels kind of like a cookie-like thing. Um, I can't read anything on this either. This is a manga box, so it's Japanese-related. I might be pronouncing this wrong, but Himi Blossom. And there's those. Feels like a cookie. It shows a strawberry and cherry. Okay. Caramel Puffs. These look interesting. They also have, it looks like a chocolate one in this brand, but I got the caramel one. As I drop one, I got two of these that say fruit fruit tree jelly lychee lychee I think that's the fruit that this is I'm not sure though don't quote me on that Let's see those there. and then I got this which I've had these before and these are really good um it's a melon pop um which are fun to use and then one of the main reasons why I got this box is for the mangas inside. Okay, so 
the alchemist who served now dreams of a quiet city life. And this one is rated T for teens. And yes, mangas do have ratings on the back of them. Um, Mages of the Library is that one. I might be pronouncing it a little bit wrong. I'll put it up so you can read it. <clears throat> this one is rated T for ages 13 plus. So they do tell you like age range on mangas. Majority mangas do. Skullface bookseller. Hudson. Again, I might be reading it a little wrong, so I'll put it up so you can see that. Um, this says OT for rating, and it says older teens, so I'm assuming probably like 14 and up, 13 and up. I'm not sure what they consider older teens, so don't quote me on this. This one... I have a feeling I'm not going to get into, to be honest, because of the graphics. I'm more about graphics than anything with my mangas. Um, this one I think I will get into, which is this one, and let's see the last one. Oh, I'm positive I'll get into this one. So, these are all volume ones, which I do like because I order off Trade Joy. And they, in the description, said that they were all in English and all volume ones. And these are all volume ones, which is nice. Because not all of them, not all mangas are volume. Obviously, there's more to series sometimes. And then, I got a sticker that says 10 points. I don't know what that means. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like there could have been options. Okay, so this shows me the three mangas I got with a small description on them. Oh, and when they were published, which I guess I could tell you guys that. Or maybe this is other suggestions. No, this is the... Okay, yeah. So, this tells me that this one is published in, on November 5th, 2017. So, this one's a little bit older one. <clears throat> This one tells me it says a couple things just say. This one I don't see the publishing date, but when you doubt your own information, you go in and look for it. So, this was a copyright 2018. So, fairly new. Um, I bet you this one's copyright. 
around that time too. Yeah, so this was copyrighted in 2018, but it was published in Japan probably around 2017, I bet. Let's see, does it tell me? No, English translation was 2019, but it's saying the Japan one was 2018. Okay, so copyright 2018 and published must have been 2017. So this is a 2018 book, but it didn't come into English until 2019. Good to know. Is this one? This one just, oh. Okay, so this was copyright in 2018 and not in English, but English translation copy was made in 2019, so that's pretty cool. That these mangas do tell you that. And then last but not least. Okay, so this one sounds like it was originally an anime. Okay, so this was first published in Japan in 2016. English translation, though, wasn't until 2019, so this year. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like when they do put books in translations because I can't read foreign language, obviously. And that's why I did subscribe to this box because it was. So... It has a little bit of a informational on some of this stuff. So on this one, I was right, Lichi is a fruit native to China. That's cool. That has a Bumpy red and a light taste. So, oh, bum, a bumpy red exterior. Fl flashy white inside and a light taste similar to watermelon. Each cup contains a jello with a teeny piece of lint. Lichi chew. Do not swallow. Lichi chew. Chew. Do not swallow. So you can't just swallow it whole. They do say to chew it. That's what that was saying. Um, floating in sweet syrup. So, let's see. Well, that's cool. I can't wait to try that. I'm not trying these on camera because of the fact that I'm going over details with you guys. But if you ever want me to get this box again and do try things on camera, please let me know down below. Okay, so this one has a little description too. I don't know if I'm. Yeah, I was holding that right because the chocolate's facing up right there. So this says a popular Korean snack cake consisting of two small round layers of cake with marshmallow filling and a chocolate covering some cho choco pies come in different oh that might be on the other one but it was oh no that's that one 
choco pies come in different flavors and might have a jelly filling within the marshmallow. Okay, so we got two choco pies apparently. Because we got this one. And they're saying this is a choco pie. And it has the jello filling. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so... Gilco Mini Caplico Caplico So it's pointing to this I'm But it's showing a different package than what we got But it's pointing to something similar to this It says Created by the brand name Mark makers of Pocky which is interesting Pocky is really good so I'm interested to try this Capulco snack a step sticks are ice cream cones filled with a Sweet vanilla, strawberry, or cho cocoa, chocolate, which flavor, which flavor did you get? So I got chocolate, which I think I would have preferred this or the strawberry anyway, so I'm kind of glad I got the chocolate. Okay, so then it's pointing at these. Chrome he may blossom. Now they show cherry blossoms on the packaging. This does not have cherry blossoms on this packaging. It says these wafer sticks taste like an ice cream cone, but filled with a creamy cherry blossom and berry yogurt. Eat it now or keep it in the freezer for a cool frozen burst. No, dessert. Cool frozen dessert. So that's interesting. So you can eat it either way. And then, like I said, this is the cheat sheet, but it has this little handout. And I'm going to pour in closer. Really small print on some of the items like the mangas. Um, okay, so this does tell me that I got a Choco Pie and a Choco Pie original. Okay, so I got one piece of paper with some of the, um, items on it, but the nice thing is it shows me what's in it, um, which is kind of cool. Oh, okay, so I'm going to show this one. So like this one, it has no snack information on the packaging itself, so it gave me that one's information, whereas some of these, like this one, has the information on the back of the packaging. So that's pretty neat that they throw that in in case you're allergic to something that's in it. Cause It's always good to know what's in an item. So that's neat. So that is all I have for you today, showing you everything that I had, minusing the personal note from the gifter.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see me do more unboxings, hit the subscribe button. And I don't know how to put the subscribe up there. Sorry. I'm just used to doing that because everybody else does that. Um, but hit the subscribe button if you do want to see more of these kind of videos. And hit the notification bell when you want to be notified when this goes up. I hope you all have a magical day and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.